a deer, for instance. There could be a deer. Oh, oh, I saw you. I saw you. Aha, you were dumb enough not to go hibernating. I got you now, Sparky. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Going Medieval, where we've just fended off yet another raid here. Yet another raid came in the church this time. The church were very, very fussy about us, and they came in and tried to kill us in the face. Our trap corridor did some good work, and then our archers and our melee folks did some more good work. We got out of that not unscathed. We took a couple of injuries here. In fact, somebody needs tending. Eric, uh, you need tending. Let me get down to you for a sec, Eric. Hang on there. Yeah, Eric's hanging out in the new barracks. Don't get too used to that, Eric, because um, we're probably going to change that soon. Uh, Tafina, you really like doctoring people. Could you tend the wounds? Uh, yeah, we, we are Tafina. Could you tend, thank you, tend the wounds, Tafina, tend the wounds. I actually have no idea how much medicine we've got. I should look at that somewhere up here. No, that's cabbage. Cabbage is not a medicine to my knowledge. Yeah, I think we're going to change up the barracks. Uh, somebody in the comments had let me know that the braziers, the, the little heating devices, the little, well, it's just basically a barrel full of fire, uh, do not require fuel. Which was why I wasn't putting them anywhere. I assumed if we put out the braziers somewhere, and indeed we put one down where Eric is hanging out right now, that they'd have to use resources and time to keep refueling these. But no, apparently they're eternal. They just keep going and going and going. So we are going to dismantle the barracks area. In fact, I'm just going to start doing that right now. Start getting rid of all of these beds. I'll leave Eric down here for right now. I won't make him get up. And then we will repurpose this room into something else. I was very, very concerned that we'd waste a whole lot of time and a whole lot of materials dealing with the braziers, so I thought one central barracks would be a good idea. But no, no, apparently it's just fine. We can just have braziers a go-go and they just kind of go forever. So clay brazier, I've got plenty of clay. I have no shortage of clay at all. Let's get a few of these. Thank goodness there's no fire in this game yet. Otherwise, these rooms would be burning to the ground. Uh, do I have any other bedrooms around here? Uh, yeah, one up here. Let's get something in there. And then we've got the other bedroom down in the basement. And then the actual pseudo barracks. That should be enough beds for everyone, I think. We'll get to this stuff as they get to it. We've got bills down to dismantle any clothing, dismantle any shoddy weapons, anything like that. Strip it down to its basic materials. But what is far more concerning is that it is winter tomorrow. Tomorrow, this is the last day of fall. Winter is tomorrow. Nobody's really sure if I've got enough food, especially me. So I'm just going to take a peek out into the landscape, seeing if there's any last-minute things we could be hunting. Now, can't even dig out... Ah, one rabbit. There we go. There is one rabbit out there. I don't think that's going to keep us going all winter, but we'll do our best. Speaking of food, let's head down into the production area down here. Okay, we've got uh, some ale going or mead. I don't remember which, and we've got... Why is this blue? We're waiting on resources. Okay, that's the ale one. That's the ale. So this will be the red currant, and that is currently fermenting the uh, rough wine there. How are we doing on... Uh, yeah, we're trying to make 30 meals. We've got 27. Yep, and Tafina is in here getting some more done. Okay, good. What's the temp in the sort of meal stockpile area? Minus 2.2. Okay, that, that's fair. And you know what? I always meant to put together some more chairs over here. So why don't we do that? We'll get the, these guys some nice wooden chairs so they can all somewhat sit together. And it looks like everybody has put on the winter clothing, as I told them to do. I see everybody here has winter clothes of varying degrees of quality, but winter clothes nonetheless. I wonder if hats will be better in the winter. Like, should they be wearing hats in the winter? What have I got on my little tailoring bench? We're dismantling forever. We've made winter clothes. We did that. I was... I did make somewhere here a straw hat. Oh yeah, Tafina, I was going to have you wear a straw hat because I think it's fun. So go wear that, please. I don't care what you were doing. Go wear my hat. I don't see anything on the cap or the straw hat that suggests that it would be better to wear a hat in the winter. Do please let me know in the comments if that's a good idea. I mean, I wear a hat in the winter. It keeps my head warmer. So it might be an idea if these guys wore hats in the winter. Now what? 
now what do I do? What what last minute things? I, I feel like we're just going to basically bury ourselves underground for the next 12 days during winter. Winter is just made so fearful in this game. Oh my god, winter is here. You're out, oh, Tafina, you look awesome. Oh, you just come, come here, Tafina. Tafina, come here. I want to look at your hat. Oh, it's a good hat. It's a fine hat. I like your winter clothing, by the way. Get some nice little knee-high boots here. Got kind of this plaid jacket with belt buckles and stuff all over it. You're looking good, Tafina. And Stigand and Boyd are over here building the braziers, so that should raise up the temp in here. Yeah, right now it's 20.3 inside. I believe that's fairly warm. To the best of my knowledge, fairly warm, so good. Uh, I was told in the comments I can actually change that to be Fahrenheit, but I'm just having too much fun messing around with, with centigrade or Celsius, whichever one it is. It, it might be both. I'm never 100% sure. Now, we've dismantled most of everything in here. I would love to see... I don't know, maybe another little bedroom in here might be a good idea. In fact, what I'd actually really like to do is just extend this whole corridor down. And again, we're not going to have much else to do in the next few days, so we may as well get a massive mining project underway. I see we're doing better on making clay bricks. We've got quite a few over here, 320 to be precise. I wouldn't mind starting to redo some of the walls. I mean, it'd be a long, long process. A very, very long process. And someone else in the comments had said, put doors up at the front and back of the trap corridor to slow people down. I, yes, I see the value in that, but I'm kind of focused on the, they're coming right for the open spot thing. I feel if I put doors up, they might not go for the trap corridor. I mean, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Maybe they want to go for a trap corridor. I don't know. But I feel that if I put doors up, they're not going to automatically go for the big open hole in the wall. Maybe, maybe a door here would be a good idea. That would really slow them down when they get over there. And don't I, uh, did we do the thing where I get better doors now? A uh, graded door. And I actually have those iron ingots. It's a portal with a view but not reinforced, which is the thing I'm thinking of. Okay, so just give me a regular door here for right now, please. And what I'm gonna start to begin to do is dismantle some of the walls here. Just a little bit at a time is my goal. So I would like to get all of those deconstructed, please, and the floors on top, thank you very much. I'm just gonna try and do it in small sections. It's not like I've got all the clay bricks to do it anyway, so I may as well take my time with it. Although that being said, they did not mess around with that. They did that in about eight seconds. So limestone, clay brick wall. This is what I would like, please. A clay brick wall. And then just put back up the wicker floor because I've got a lot of sticks. It's easier to get the sticks than the wood. So put that back up and we'll kind of just do this piecemeal. It'll be something to do in the winter. Boyd is over here tending to Cedric. Yeah, we didn't get through that raid completely unscathed. We took some knocks there. Ah, good. They put my door up and I put a little extra section of wall there because why not? So, all right, this will all start getting done. What other little sections could we get rid of around here? See, this area back here, I've done no Merlins on. So that would be very, very easy. I don't even have floors up there. This would be a snap. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Settlers are suffering, suffering from the cold. Make appropriate clothing. Done that. Done that. Put braziers up. I've done that. I don't know what else to do with these guys. I wonder if some walls have better insulating value than others. Is that is that a thing that exists? Show me walls. Yes, they do. Hang on. Thermal insulation, 0.75 on the clay brick. And then what's this? 0.6 on the wood. What's the best? Looks like clay wall, just regular clay, not clay brick. And then the limestone is kind of in the middle of the pack there. Interesting. Okay. So I should, with the materials I have that I can work with, which is basically clay, I should put up a regular clay wall instead of the wooden walls. That would be slightly more insulating. Not a, well, I say not a lot. It's like 50% more insulating. It's not a great deal in general, but it's something. have to have a think about that. I don't want to start tearing walls down in the middle of winter. That seems very silly. However, we do have research available, and we've made 20 of the textbooks, the new 
higher grade research so we can get some cooler stuff in here like I don't know decorative structures Oh, we did that one. Never mind. How about decorative banners? How about, Dave, you didn't go with banners? Maybe something a little more practical might be a good idea. Practical. What does it take to get armor? What do I need? I need 30 textbooks. No, 30 chronicles. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna hold off. Uh, just make a bunch more of everything. And then when we've got a lot of stuff, then I'll make a decision on to what we're really going to use them for. And I'm once again being reminded that it's winter. Yes, I've got the warm clothing. Yes, I put the braziers in. I don't know what else to do, game. I, it, it is winter. It's not like we've got space heaters or anything. Well, I mean, we've got braziers, but they're not very good space heaters. Oh, I could put a, uh, a regular bed in here. That would be a little bit more comfortable. I did put a roof on this building, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I didn't for a long time. I wanted to make sure I'd actually done that. Now, be very, very careful on the balcony here. There's no side rails, and this looks very slippery and icy. You could fall to your death there. That's 25 degrees down here. That, that's that got to be pretty good, right? Five in here, but I could... I have a brazier in here. I don't know how much... I, if I put an extra one in, is that going to continue to make it warm? And also, we should probably get... What's the temperature inside the dining room? Uh, minus 15.4. We, 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 we should probably heat that up a little bit. I'll get a little tiny, tiny little bit warmer in here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm going to put it right by the backgammon table. You guys do love your backgammon. And maybe another one in the hallway. Just kind of spread the warmth around here. These guys are just ripping through the mining project. No surprise. They don't really have a heck of a lot else to do. Let's make sure the roof doesn't collapse. Oh, I really got to get a brazier inside the research room. It is very, very chilly in there. Very chilly. It's uh, z minus 0 0.5 in here. Really, really sorry. I think Brinston's coming along to uh, help you do that. Wow, um, kind of just throw the books on the ground there, Eric, huh? Just pile those books on the ground. Speaking of which, actually, I should uh, have long ago increased the size of this zone. I should have long a cold snap. Great. So it's even colder. Even colder now. Okay, super. Everybody is going to die. In the meantime, I'm going to expand this zone so you don't you can be slightly more organized about where you're putting all these books. Yeah, just braziers for everybody. That's all we're doing. Just everybody gets a brazier everywhere all the time. All of these have one, right? No, I don't think... Nope, they do. One, two, three. Yep, four of them in there. Uh, what could we put maybe... It's not a heck of a lot going on in this room. And we've also got like a, a furnace in here. Go, go down to this level, please. What is the actual temperature in here? It's 25 in here. Yeah, because we've got a ginormous kiln. So I think that's going to be fine. Uh, how are we doing downstairs during the winter cold snap? We're all going to die now. There's actual ice on the screen. That's how cold it is. Well, they may die of cold, but I'll be danged if they're going to die from a roof collapse. Put up another beam there. And then how about another one right over there? Uh, who needs tending? What's the problem? Cedric. Uh, you're, you have a stomach thing. Mild concussion and a severe concussion. Uh, you're healing. Okay, you're gonna go to bed. Yeah, I don't... Wait, there's something you do and don't do with a concussion. I feel like you're not supposed to go to bed with a concussion, Cedric. I'm not a doctor. And that might be kind of an urban myth. An urban medical myth. A hospital myth? I don't know. I'm not sure if you're supposed to go to bed with a concussion, Cedric. You... I feel like you're supposed to walk it off. I'm going to keep the mining project going into something even more fun. I think we're actually going to mine deeper into the earth. So I'm going to get them... Thank you for... Now I've lost my, my mining thing there. Thank you for auto-saving. I'm going to get them going like this. And then we're going to go another layer down. See what lives down below. So it's 1.6 degrees in Cedric's bedroom. Now that is darn cold. But I don't know if it's life-threateningly cold. It might be. It's almost freezing. Ah, now yours is 10.9. You've got a smaller room, though. So that brazier is much... It's much easier to heat that room because it's smaller. I could double up on braziers, I suppose. Uh, how are things in the dining room? That is 25. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly appropriate. How are we doing in the freezer? Yeah, it's minus 8.2. 
I better not see my meat going off in minus 8.2. We've got seven ale over here. How are we doing on, looks like the rough wine is almost fermented and the ale is about halfway fermented. All right, Eric the Research Maniac here has got way more Chronicles done. So let me look at cooking. What does that give me? A hearth. I feel we should get one of these. I feel we should get one of these. We've got the clay bricks and we've got the iron ingots. We're, we're going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to get... I'm going to unlock cooking. There, I've unlocked cooking. I've done it. It's a thing. So let's go down into the kitchen. Let's get one of those set up somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. I might move the backgammon table, guys. I don't... Um, I don't know if this is the right spot for backgammon. Uh, you know what? Here, here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to... I wish I could move these. I'd love to be able to move these. I will copy it and put it out in the hallway right next to the brazier so that, you know, it'd be nice and warm over there. We're going to destroy that one and then we're going to put the new fireplace thing over here. So I'm going to get a clay brick hearth. I've got the clay... I've got the clay bricks. I've got the iron ingots. I have everything I need for this. Pop that guy in there and we'll find out what kind of fun and exciting things we can do with it. I, I should probably not send them out in a cold snap. That's probably the worst idea I've ever had in a colony builder. But I do kind of want to just see if there are... I doubt there's any animals out here. That's just not how animals work. Any smart animal would be hibernating through this nonsense, if indeed they're hibernating animals. Uh, deer, for instance. There could be a deer. Oh, oh, I saw you. I saw you. Aha, you were dumb enough not to go hibernating. I got you now, Sparky. Yeah, that's a really smart idea, Dave. Send our colonists out in a cold snap in very poor winter clothing with a concussion to go hunt a rabbit in the snow. This is going to go well. Cedric's in on it. Cedric's actually the guy with the concussion. Yeah, I have, I have in fact sent Cedric, who has a concussion out into a cold snap. It's minus 18 degrees C. That's cold in ev anyone's unit of measurement. That is darn cold. But Cedric, with a concussion, out, trying to shoot a hare in the snow with, with a bow. God bless you, Cedric. Well, concussion or not, he got it. So that's some extra food around here. Now, what could we make in here? A meal, just a meal. 12 cooking material and some fuel. Okay, we can make a lavish meal, or we can make pickled vegetables. I don't have any preservatives yet, though. Okay, what is the difference between that meal and the meal that we make on the little campfire here? Not nothing, not nothing at all. Okay, but I could double up. We could get extra cooking going on. That's not a bad idea. Or should I make a lavish meal or two? I need herbs for that. I don't have a lot of herbs. I only have eight. They'd love it, but I don't think that's a smart use of our herbs. I think instead, we'll just go with regular meals, and we'll just make... See, the, the campfire's going all the time. Is this a more efficient way to do it? Do, I, do we cook faster on this than we do on the campfire? I don't know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say do... No, 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 we can do... We can have all the things. Uh, do until we have 42? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know where that number came from, but yeah, why not? Aha! They've got my new mining area done here, so I actually want to go down now. We are going to go down into the depths of the earth here. Well, as best... Be, as as be, Down into the depths up down. In, now I've lost my mining thing. There we go. Eventually they'll get on that. Today, I don't know. Who cares? It's just an experiment anyway. I just want to see what lives below the earth here. Uh, Stigand, how's your room? It's it's chilly. It's definitely chilly. Boyd's room, yeah, much more... Well, I say much more comfortable. It's not that much more comfortable, but it's warmer. I could just sort of shave down some of the room. I could put some walls up or something and just fill the room back in. It would be easier to heat, but I'd actually just like to create a whole new bedroom area if I can, and I definitely can. So let's get, well, more mining, obviously. And you can have a little bedroom right about here. That will be much easier to heat. Oh, and I think the cold snap's over. I don't have my little cold snap thing at the top there. Okay, good. The cold snap, now it's just regular winter on outside here. <laughs> now it's just minus 16.9 uh, degrees. You sure that cold snap is over, game? Because that seems very, very cold to me. 
why don't we, again, let's do something smart, like have my villagers, my colonists out in the middle of minus 15 degrees C weather doing something. How many uh, clay bricks do I have left here kicking around? Oh, quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. Let's tear down another section of wall and put some clay brick up instead. Boy, the gang just love tearing stuff down. They are so destructive. They just absolutely love to wreck things. So a clay wall, and actually the clay brick wall, please, the clay brick wall, that's going to go right there. Thank you very much. Just kind of pick at this a little bit as we go along. No rush. No real rush. Uh, we're making some more iron ingots. That's good. Eric's doing his thing. We've actually already got some new research available. What do you think I can do here? I can actually get research number two. Sorry, that's already done. I can get decorative banners. Um, no, I'm going to hold off on that. I, I'd actually like to get something slightly more practical. Let's get make sure that we are making lots more chronicles, though, please. Uh, outline some stairs over here so they can get down and finish the rest of this. How do we do on the... Uh, yeah, the new bedroom is actually almost done. Let's get a door in there to kind of keep the heat in there which there will be eventually when I'm done with it. So I'll just get a regular bed in there, nice little brazier, and then I can deconstruct this last bed and turn that into, well, something else. I'm not really sure what at this point, but something else. How about we decorate this room? Where's that? Misk? Is that misk? Um, right, fences, wall shield. That's the one I'm looking for. This needs wood and an iron ingot. You are getting a decorative shield in your room, whomever sleeps here because I can't assign beds. Speaking of wood, I should probably earmark some more for being cut. I have a feeling we're we're using a lot of stuff that needs wood right now. How'd we do on the uh, wall replacement, kids? Yeah, we did okay with that. That came along just fine, didn't it? That came along just fine. And it looks better, too. Well, you know what? You know what? Let's keep that train a-rolling, then. How about we demoed everything here? I'm going to put another brazier out in... The tailoring area, the little textile area over there. Again, if it doesn't really cost me anything to put that up besides the basic resources to put it up in the first place, then I may as well. I Again, I, I, I know I've already said it, but I thought they were just going to take all of their time dealing with braziers. But no, no, no. If they're functionally immortal braziers, I'm more than happy to let them keep doing it. All right, and we are further down into the depths of the earth here. So let's see. Oh, a ferocious swarm of what? I don't want to hear the words ferocious swarm going medieval. Res hunger or playful destruction. Brandishing tools and shielding the stock. The settlers had to drive them off. Oh, they're, they're wolves. Okay. All right, fine. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause it. Where, where are they, exactly? I was digging down into the depths of the earth. Speaking of which, how's our wall, kids? Need the wall to be up and running now. Okay, I need, um... Need everybody. Gang, could you come here, please? I'll, where is Ganora and Tafina? I'll deal with them in a second. Uh, gang, can you kind of come in this direction, please? Where is Ganora? Oh, you're over there. Okay. Uh, do you have a bow? No, you're melee. All right, and then Tafina, you do have a bow. Could you actually please... I have a feeling they're just... Well, I don't know where they're going to come from. For right now, just get up on that wall. Everyone just sort of go about your business. Go where I told you to go. I'm kind of half keeping an eye on these guys. Uh, you need to run for the door. You need to run for the door. Run. There you go. Okay. Well, they're not really doing anything. Um, Gnora, can you come up on this wall? And Brinston, my ace archer, why don't you come up there? Maybe we can take some pot shots at them. And Boyd, why don't you also get up on the... Oh, sorry, that was... No, that was Brinston. Boyd, get up on the wall here. Brinston's got some shots. Brinston's definitely got some shots in there. And then, um, what? Boyd, where are you gonna... Where are you gonna get up on the wall? Where are you gonna do the thing that I asked you to do, Boyd? I'd appreciate that. Thank you. And Cedric, you are also armed with a bow. Why don't you get up here as well? Maybe if we could just pick all these guys off, this that'd be great. I'd be more than happy to just stand here and shoot them all day. I mean, there's a lot of them. This is going to take a while. Uh, there's another one down right there, but they don't seem to be inclined to do anything but stand there and get shot. 
They're not going for the trap corridor. They're not going for the blatantly obvious hole in the wall. No, they're just more than content to sit there and get shot by bows. In fact, there's only a couple, two or three of them left. Four of them left. Four of them. This guy's, that guy's down. Three of them left. And this will be meat. I kind of just need this guy to wander into range. He's being very fussy about that. that I, oh, he almost was there. Almost. Yep, there we go. Somebody's got a shot in. Somebody's got a shot in. Not quite. Yeah, he's just delicately avoiding our bow range at this point. He'll get there at some point. I could basically take the melee guys off draft, but I don't want them to go out there and start picking up corpses before this guy's dealt with. So this just might be a little bit of a standing around waiting for him to come into range. There we go. We got him. He finally wandered close enough to the walls. Okay, everybody can be off draft now. No, don't attack. Just be off draft. Everybody. Thank you. Uh, who's not? Oh, no, never mind. I was looking at Kenora. Everybody's off draft. There we go. Everybody's off draft. We are going to definitely have all of these corpses because that's meat. Quite a lot of it, too. Now, unfortunately, we're out of resources to make any of the beverages. The rough wine, the ale, we're just out of the basic materials for that. And it's, it's going to be a while till spring. Spring is not happening tomorrow morning. We've got another eight days of winter here. It's going to be a while before we get any liquid refreshment around here. Uh, looks like we pulled in some of the wolf carcasses, but not not all of them. Uh, Brinson, do you think you can grab... Gra Wait, wait, can we not? Ah, hang on, check your stockpile, Dave. Maybe it's not earmarked to accept wolf corpses. Should be. Should be for all animal corpses, but just in case. Uh, come here, come here. No, yeah, we're auto-saving, that's cool. Uh, see what's going on in the old stock, but come here, stockpile. Carcasses, show me. Animal, show me. Yeah, we should be able to get wolf carcass. We might just not have enough room. Actually, I think we're just flat out. No, I see empty spaces there. Somebody go get the wolves. All right, Eric, go get a wolf. Uh, Tafina, you don't need to be playing backgammon. Take your straw hat and go get a wolf, please. I just want to make sure we're getting all of these corpses inside. I mean, it's not like they're going to go bad. It's minus 16 degrees out here, but meat is meat. I want to make sure we get as much of this as possible. Yeah, Ganora's got a couple of them. Good job, Ganora. Okay, there we go. They finally managed to go out and pick up all the wolf carcasses, and I've turned the smokehouse back on, set up some new orders in there. If we've got a bunch of dead wolves, that can be a bunch of smoked wolves that can carry us through the rest of winter, about halfway through winter. Day six tomorrow, halfway through winter. Everyone is still alive. Everyone has food. We may run out of ale and wine in the near future, but... So far, so good. After the many, many grim warnings I received about winter, I've made it halfway through. Now, it could all go horribly wrong tomorrow, and likely will. But we're just going to keep plugging along, see if we can get through the winter in going medieval. We'll call it for today. We'll pick up some more of this again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, Feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to go embrace my fate. I'm going to go give fate a big old hug. Just walk up and tongue kiss fate. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Citizens drop go. Everything is under control. This is, this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an no, aggressive this urban redevelopment enough. program. Hey. Bugs are inherently stupid and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish?